Hey guys, I want to do a quick one about speed deadlifts today. And, you know, if you've watched some of my other 100 plus videos in the last 100 plus days, you, you may have seen that I talked about speed squats. And now we're going to talk about speed deadlifts. So these two movements are totally different. And I, you know, I'm going to default for, for power work. I'm going to default to the squatting variations of these types of quick movements way before that I do the deadlift. And that's only because the deadlift is just more difficult. It's more difficult to find the tension before you're going and then set into it as you pull up. Most of the time when you encourage someone to lift really, really quickly with their deadlift, they're just gonna lean back, okay? They're just gonna initiate with their lower back. They're gonna arch themselves. They're gonna lose their positions and they're going to drive with incorrect motions. They're not gonna drive with their hips. They're gonna drive with their back, right? And that puts them at this disadvantage. If you have someone who's demonstrated that they can deadlift slowly with competency, then you can start to add uh, speed onto these lifts, velocity onto these lifts, and it does prove useful. I, I have programmed this for people who generally deadlift very well. Um, big things are, first, not only do you need to be able to demonstrate that you can deadlift well, but you need to be able to do it just automatically, okay? You can't be re-cueing yourself every single rep. You're going to have to be able to tolerate pushing yourself to kind of a limit because if you're still thinking about how your form is and how you're doing it, then you're not ready. If I have to think about something, I have to slow down and I have to take in all this information and I have to decide whether or not all of this information lines up into something that I am happy with. If you're not doing that and you're just automatic, then you have this hindbrain access. You're not using this higher evolved cognitive thinking brain and instead you're just being an animal. You're being a gorilla. You're just mashing this bar. Okay, so make sure that you can mash slowly before you start to mash quickly. And I'm going to encourage you to do that pretty quickly because I think you can do it. Now, I know I say the deadlift is difficult, but that's only relative to other lifts. You can learn it pretty quickly. Now, when I'm setting up for speed deadlift, I need to first make sure, even though the weight is gonna be a little bit lighter, I need to make sure I have this tension like I'm going to deadlift really heavy. And so, you know, force is dependent upon the acceleration that I go through. So I could take 135 and lift it slow, and then I could take 315 and lift it slow. And I need, you know, maybe 135 pounds of force to pick the first one up, and then 315 pounds of force to pick the next one up. Now let's say my deadlift is 405. Maybe my max output is 405, hypothetically, or something like that. So. <laughs> if I take 315 and I lift it moderately slowly, but still, you know, with a maximal intent, I might be able to push 405 pounds worth of force into the bar. But I could do similar to that, maybe not quite that much, but maybe closer to 300 or 330 with 135. And that's what causes me to increase this acceleration, but the force is still higher. So I still need to be set. I still need stiffness in my body with which to you know, pick this bar up. Because if I don't have this stiffness, as soon as I push, I'm just gonna lose my back position. Or I'm gonna shoot my hips up like this. Or I'm gonna just arch my back, right? I lose the automaticity of this movement. And so first, you need to be able to demonstrate stiffness generate this stiffness at the bar, this stiffness within your body. I want you to imagine if you're picking up 135, I want you to imagine you're pushing into the ground with 134 pounds of force and then you're picking everything up, okay? So get everything as tight as possible, make that bar almost float on the ground and then go, okay? Other things that, uh, you know, I like Lee Taft, he talks a lot about speed and agility, and he talks a lot about developing stiffness for these faster motions. He might not be a heavy lifting guy, but he understands force and acceleration and how that plays into mechanics and stiffness. And what he's done is he said, let's take a pretty light medicine ball, I'm gonna throw it around, but I don't want you to lose your position. So you could do 
a, you know, like a medicine ball slam, but don't let go of the ball. And that's like coming down into a squat like this. So I take maybe a 10 pound ball and I try to bring it down as quickly as I can while squatting and then stop as quickly as I can. So he, he, and you might need to push some air out or something like that, but that'll help you kind of get prepared, get stiff, get ready for these speed deadlifts. And maybe that's part of your warm up, part of your preparatory exercises before you actually get into these speed deadlifts. But remember, so just quick recap, make sure you're really good at doing it automatically. Make sure you can mash and make sure you get tight before you go and pick it up as fast as you can.